So when you uh, compare this uh, received, uh, the power received by the receiver with the with the power available from the um, antenna and that was actually the power captured by the antenna so this is also equal to the half half of the p so when you calculate this also gives you the we have the square and also the r r e c as well okay we missed it, I guess. So this is the case in the power delivered to the receiver, in fact. That is, power delivered to the receiver. So this is all about, uh, I mean, so we did, um, we calculated the, the power captured by the antenna. That was denoted by P. And then we, uh, then we calculated the equation for the scattered power. That is the re-radiated power. And that was denoted by the P scat. And then we calculated the, uh, the the power lost in the form of heat in the en in the receiving antenna, and that was denoted by P L. And then we uh, also calculated the power delivered to the receiver, and that was P R E C. So these are the four powers we actually calculated. Now we can also summarize it in the same way as we did for the. Uh, for the um, transmitting case. So let me rub this all off and see how we can go with with the summary of. So uh, summary of the receiving antenna. So if I say receiving antenna summary but in maximum power transfer case which is the uh, a condition as well and which is also uh, always the, the the condition we we are after in fact so this is all the time we are after the maximum power transfer so because uh, we don't want the power to get lost so for that we need to have maximum power being transferred to the load in fact so in the beginning we had a uh, power captured <coughs> that was denoted by P and let me write this was power captured by receiving antenna so let me in short write A, A and T and Rx for the receiving antenna and then power delivered to the receiver was P by 2 power delivered to the receiver so I'm actually summarizing it and the power that was delivered to the antenna since uh, the captured was uh, uh, P and then half of it was uh, delivered to the receiver so it's a receiver so half of it is remaining over here so I can say then this is the power delivered to the antenna. And with, within that power delivered to the antenna, that was half of the, the total captured power, we have again two categories. that was power dissipated dissipated in form of heat by antenna and we can say it was 1 minus E C D into P divided by 2 in fact so this is one understanding and the other remaining portion was actually the power scattered by the antenna power scattered by antenna P scat and it was actually equal to ECD into P divided by 2 in fact So what we can summarize further is that 
looking at the diagram, we can say that with an ideal receiving antenna, where E, C, D is actually equal to 1, for example, if we have an ideal receiving antenna, for example, and given the max maximum power transfer, only one half of the power captured by the antenna is re-radiated. Half is re-radiated -radi and is scattered by the antenna, okay? And the rest is, uh, for example, I mean, this goes this goes zero in ideal case because one minus one goes zero and in ideal case and then over here we have one so we can say the power captured half of it is uh, delivered to the receiver and half of it is actually scattered by the and re-radiated by the antenna so this is actually the summary of uh, transmitting antenna system and the receiving antenna system in which we calculated through the maximum transfer and the impedances uh, concepts, we calculated different powers, power captured, power received, power dissipated, and power, uh, power delivered to the antenna, and power uh, delivered to the receiver. So this is the whole summary of the, of the topic we covered. Thank you.